welcome to another tutorial on material ui react so in this tutorial i will going to explain you one component of material ui it's called box component so basically this box component is replacement for div component so if we use this box component and if we just check the source code then it is actually a div component and let me start my material ui project that i have created in our last video oh it is i will start it on bs code okay and i already have this integrated here this material ui react is here so from this app.js file I'm going to remove this part and I'm starting the project. So it's running. Okay. So let me remove this header part as well. yeah so this for using this box component we need to import it using this line import box from material ui core box if i write it here then it suggests me this auto import if i click here then this box component is imported now let me use it here box okay and if i inspect this page then inside this body we have this root we have this app and we have this div this is classes material web box one different class that this for this box so you can see that it's actually a div component similarly we can add different types of properties here suppose i am adding one background color background color red okay let me add some width 100 and height 100 then this is the box component that's the yeah and one more thing is that we can change it with the component property so by default it's div we can also change it to any other properties like for example span so let me add this component here if i use it as span then if i check it now this is since to span right and it's like a wrapper component similar to div so we can add something inside it like suppose i'm adding one button okay we need to import it from material ui so this button is added here we can also use properties different for different screen sizes like for extra small i am using white and for md i am using red so it's white and okay let me send it to pg color So it's red and if i move it down to access screen then it becomes white one more thing is that we have one property that's called clone property so if we use this property then it will move this 
its properties to its directly to its children. So currently we have one button inside the box. If I write clone here and save it, then I'll show you what happened. So inspect. Let me change it to color. Let me change it to red. It's not color, it's busy color. So it actually this color is moved to this button. You can see that while I'm hovering it, it changes the color because this red is in the button, not in this um, box component. Let me place it here. And if I remove it, clone, then I'm saving it. This is the box component. And if I add it clone, then it moves this property to this button. So this is that's all for now. So these are the basics of this box component. So in the next videos, I am going to explore more components and I will show you how we can use these other components. So thanks for watching this video, guys. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and please share it with your friends. Bye.